but it can't just be about cleanliness. We got to be clean inside too. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Roman Reigns. Yes sir. Is a very famous WWE superstar and he was set to headline the main event at this year's Wrestlemania. But what's been trending on Twitter today is the fact that Roman Reigns has pulled out and people are losing their mind. You already know what's going on, it's all over the, the news, the dirt sheets, whatever you want to call them. Forget about people contracting a deadly virus, people are more interested in cussing down this guy and telling him what a wimp and coward he is for not entertaining them and choosing his family. You know I'm sorry I, I didn't um, get to compete this year and uh, put on a show and entertain but sometimes things are more important and I had to make a choice for me and my family. So he took to Instagram to record a response and when I was listening to the response I was like hang on just a minute right here. This guy is giving some amazing advice. In fact he's giving advice that's from the Quran and sayings of the Prophet. Let's go over some of these gems yeah. Because we don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going on with the next person. A lot of stuff could be in their head having a bad day and you could be the straw to break some of that, that camel's back so. Now this reminds me of a quote, strike a balance. Better learn balance, balance is key. Don't befriend someone so much that they can destroy you. Don't hate someone so bad that the time for reconciliation comes and there's no hope now. God I hate her Ross, I hate her. <laughs> I mean we have no idea, many people in this day and age of capitalism, consumerism, materialism, atheism, people are on the edge yeah, because they are not <laughs> because they are not following the natural way a human being is supposed to live their life so they can live it fruitfully. So because we're not doing that naturally we've got all of these problems popping out of nowhere but they're not really popping out of nowhere, we know where they're popping out from. So people are on the edge, what do you do? You know a kind word, a kind gesture goes a long way. You don't know how much negativity some people are dealing with and a bit of positivity could literally save their life. Now don't get me wrong I'm not saying be a doormat and let people walk all over you, I'm just saying. Balance bad, better pack up your home. It's, it's good to be positive, enthusiasm is the force that creates momentum. I think especially right now that's exactly what we need is momentum to go forward, the courage to go forward to better ourselves so. Yeah that's a brilliant point, using this time to better yourself. In other words turning this negative into a positive so you can attract success. Yeah you see what I did there yeah, it's, it, it's like a magnet. Uh, yeah. Because let's face it guys, everyone goes through madness but it's the successful people if you ask them how they reached their success, they turned whatever negative happened into a positive or if not at least at the very least they did not break under the pressure. They survived and that's what you need to do. Yeah so okay we're here, we've got a couple of months, okay let's, let's take the advantage. Yeah, the advantages were indoors, we're able to you know rekindle relationship, relationships, we're able to have time to look into ourselves so we can come up with the solutions because most of the time the solutions are with us. Avoiding unhappiness is not the road to happiness. You hold all the cars Hector. I make a choice for me and my family, I'm a coward, I'm a sissy, a lot of you know what I mean, a lot of different things that I am now. He sacrificed his big payday, he sacrificed his reputation and he sacrificed his mental health because you know when something like this happens people are gonna go mental. The media is going to go into a frenzy mate. In a society where people would sell their family in a heartbeat for fame and fortune this guy puts them forward, mate. Yes, round of applause to you mate. It takes a lot of guts to do that. In fact many people, religious, non-religious, we fall into this pit mate, yeah? Because from the small age we've been told money, 
We learn, we educate ourselves for money, we go to work for money, we have relationships with colleagues and friends and other families for money. But when do we actually do it for the sake of Allah? Just for no gain whatsoever. Be present and make the most out of this because if we can't grow in a time like this, I don't think we have a chance, man. This is the, this is the most downtime I've ever seen in my life. And lastly, what this guy said, and it's, it's brilliant, yeah? What an amazing way to finish, and that is be present. What the hell is wrong with you? You said you were in a hurry. So you pushed me off the bridge? I emptied your mind. You what? I emptied No, my... you didn't. You threw me into the river. And while you were falling, tell me, Dan, what were you thinking about? I don't know. Were you thinking about school? No. Grocery shop? No. This thing you had to hurry off to? No, I was present. Devoted 100% to the experience you were having. If you analyze how your days are spent, either you're thinking about the past or you're thinking about the future. In other words, you're just living in your head and you're living in an abstract time that either has happened or will happen. What about now, mate? Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. And being present helps you attain gratitude. And a lot of us don't have it. We're always moaning and groaning. And tell yourself that this moment you're in now, once upon a time, you prayed for this moment. It could have been exams. There was a time you were praying that you could pass and get through your exams. There was a moment, there was something going on in your household and you were just praying that you could overcome that obstacle. And you did. You were praying that you would get a job. You were praying that you would find a partner. You were praying that you would overcome heartbreak or the death of a loved one or something and you got it. And now you're just looking ahead. Don't be that person that's constantly looking ahead and not appreciating what they have. When are you going to take it? Sometimes I don't. If I like a moment, I don't like to have the distraction of the camera. I just want to stay in it. Otherwise you're always going to be a poor person because you always want more. Be grateful for what you have and then you show Allah that you are ready to receive more. I'm going to leave it there guys. Until next time. Douche. Assalamu alaikum.